Well, friends, as we sit, let's bow our heads and let's turn to the Lord in prayer. We start our prayers this morning with the collect for the fifth Sunday after Trinity. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of the church is governed and sanctified, hear our prayer which we offer for all your faithful people, that in their vocation and ministry they may serve you in holiness and truth to the glory of your name. Through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now we turn to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gifts and the skills you've given us, for the vocations you have given members of our congregation. Lord, we ask you'd be with them as they serve you in their places of work, in voluntary roles in our village and further afield. Father, we pray for the marriage course as it draws to a close. We thank you for Trevor and Jackie leading the course. We thank you for the couples on it. Lord, we pray that they would grow in their love for one another and their love for you. Help them where there are difficult conversations to be had. Lord, help them to know that you love and care for them. And Father, we pray for our services here at Holy Trinity as they start again next Sunday. Lord, we pray for safety for all who attend. Lord, we pray for those who continue to watch online that you would meet them and encounter them. But above all, Lord, as we gather here at Holy Trinity next Sunday, we pray that your spirit would come and gather with us and be with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our mission, father, um, our mission partner this month is the Barnabas Fund and so we're going to pray now for the persecuted church and our brothers and sisters around the world. Heavenly Father, we pray for our brothers and sisters who suffer in your name all over our world. Those who face injustice, oppression and death because of their faith in you. Father, we thank you that you are a God of compassion, of comfort and justice. And we ask that you would walk with them as they journey through the valley of shadow of the shadow of darkness. We pray that you would grant them strength, courage and protection from those who seek to harm them because they follow you. And give them hope for a future where they can worship you in freedom and without fear. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for our nation with reports almost daily in our newspapers and on our screens and in our tablets of job losses. We pray for those who have been laid off at this time and for those who are in consultation periods. Lord, be with them as they seek new employment. Lord, we thank you for the practical ways we can demonstrate your love here in Rudrick and around Horsham, for the food banks and for debt advice. And Lord, we pray for those who are being helped by HDAS and the food bank here in Rudrick and further afield in Horsham. With the easing of lockdown, we pray for businesses as they get going. We pray for safety for their employees and their customers. We pray for ongoing safety for our healthcare professionals. And Lord, we ask you to be with our schools in these final few weeks of term. We ask that in September they would be able to return with all pupils and would be safe. Loving God, we pray for the leaders of our world. We ask you'd guide them with your light. We pray particularly for our government as they uh, navigate uh, us out of the lockdown for coronavirus, as they seek to stimulate the economy. We pray also uh, for our government as they seek to negotiate Brexit with the EU. And we pray for wisdom for our leaders around the world as they respond to the changes happening in Hong Kong. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Finally, loving God, we pray for those whose lives are hard and painful, for those whose existence is sorrowful, sorrowful bitter or empty. And we ask you to bring comfort to those who are suffering, whether in body, mind or spirit. And in a moment of quiet, let's lift before the Lord those 
known to us. Father, in their need, may they know your healing touch, reach out to comfort, strengthen and restore them. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We conclude our prayers this morning with the prayer Jesus taught us. The words will be on the screen. We say together, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Well, at our contemporary service, our song is the creed set to music, and at our traditional service, we're going to sing the hymn, Let All the World in Every Corner Sing. Let's sing.